Our top story at 5.30, a neglected cemetery this evening. How some are fighting to restore it amid the government shutdown. Good evening. I'm Veronica Dela Cruz. I'm Alan Martin. The federal government shutdown has thrown a lot of people's lives into chaos. But in Vallejo, a different kind of impact at Mare Island Cemetery. KPIX 5's John Ramos has a story. This is the Mare Island Naval Cemetery, the oldest military graveyard on the West Coast. It is a place of respect, and there are those who feel the government needs to start treating it that way. When they open the locked gates protecting the old cemetery, they never know what they might find. Today, it was a 70-foot pine tree, toppled in the last storm, knocking over headstones. It's just the latest outrage to hit this forgotten memorial. You know, as uh, fellow veterans, it's, I think it's a stab in our heart. Retired Army Colonel Nestor Aliga can't contain his emotions when he looks out at the headstones, even though most here died long before he was born. The graveyard is a mess, the victim of neglect. A drainage problem is causing some headstones to literally sink into the earth. Three Medal of Honor recipients rest here, and to the Colonel, this is a betrayal, an unpaid debt to those who sacrificed everything. If we don't take care of our own here in our own homeland, then, you know, uh, a lot of veterans would feel uh, insulted. Vallejo inherited the property when the base shut down in 1996, and for years the city has tried to get the Veterans Administration to retake the cemetery and be responsible for its maintenance. Supported by nearly every California representative and senator of both parties, a bill to transfer the graveyard seemed headed for success in December, and then the government shutdown happened. And because of the government shutdown, it's been crickets. We haven't heard a thing. Vallejo's mayor says they're back to square one, with the bill having to be reintroduced all over again, leaving the veterans angry that military honor is being held hostage by political gamesmanship. And they said, well, if I do it, you know, I'm going against so-and-so, and, -so and uh, I'm not going to get my uh, donation, you know. Uh, I won't donate to those idiots anyway, <laughs> you know. I, I hate those guys that do this. Despite their frustrations, those who are fighting to transfer the cemetery say the bipartisan support has them optimistic they can get it done this year when or if the federal government is up and running again. At Mare Island, John Ramos, KPIX 5.